Uh, what he does extremely well in these is shoot from mid-range. He can ping corners. And this one underway. Penn State wins the opening faceoff. They two away now from joining that 200 goal club. And they needed a hat trick to get there today. He averages more than three goals per game for his career. Penn State's last recruit in that 2018 class. Originally a Division III commit. He committed to the Mitney Lions this summer after his senior year. I think he's a little underrated nationally. And he's, when you look at his numbers as a freshman, 36 points, he shot 40 in him in position to have success. Williams, eight goals in his previous three games against Penn State. Somebody lost a stick. Sutton Boland in there for Penn State, trying to scoop it up, and it burns off the carpet. The, the numbers tell a story. The reality is Coach Tambroni told us, you know, that while they've had no large-scale disruptions, it's been something every day. And the young player, everything's overhand or three-quarter. He shoots hard. He shoots to net. He doesn't mess around with bouncers most of the time. 36% as a freshman, and, and he's on or above that rate ever since. He is a lethal shooter. 48%. But his body and his ability to create separation, he's just more sudden. He's got a different burst this season, Connor Simone. How much of that do you think is the move from midfield to attack? Well, I mean, going back, he, he was a uh, number five recruit, according to the inside lac lacrosse in his class. His last 11 games, the ball moved. His last 11 games, that goes back to 2019. And we watched a lot of Milliman's teams at Cornell. Offensively, this guy can coach lacrosse. The ball moves. Not a lot of wasted motion. Front. So a terrific flurry from Penn State. It, it, it started with that pick and slip towards the inside. And they got a nice play out of Malone being able to catch that shot. Matt Naruski wins the faceoff from Gerard Arceri, a two-time All-American. Five of the top six on offense for Johns Hopkins, our former top ten recruits. Midfielder in the past, moving to attack. Ten goals on the season, his career high, 16 back in 2018. Late in that second quarter. Naruski's won six, or Siri five. We'll get the wings involved, and Hopkins wins the opening draw of quarter number three. Just according to the textbook, spends a lot of extra time out on Homewood Field working on a shooting, and it pays off on game day. You mentioned Connor Delaney, who had the assist. He is fifth all-time in assists at Johns Hopkins. A change at the X for Penn State, Jake Glatz, who has been Gerard R. Series backup for four years now. Hopkins has won seven in a row. Make it eight. Penn State still without a shot. And they've just uh, really turned the switch of this game at an early point, Nish. This is shocking. It's make it take it. Yeah, last year they were two and four. Uh, you got to go back to what 2019 to to find a win against you know a win of merit, so to speak. Penn State still can't get possession. Another. Two and a half minutes to go in the third. Penn State still looking for its first shot of the quarter. They finally win a faceoff. Then Cardiel lost it, and it comes back to the Nittany Lions. Hopkins, they haven't played much defense, so they're relentless. DeSimone having a monster game. Epstein picks up the assist, but it started with a defense that has looked vastly improved today. I didn't see this coming at all, did you? No, I thought we were going to have a high-scoring, close game, and it's a one-sided, low-scoring game. 2021, go figure. I mean, that quarter was the definition of dominance in lacrosse. You win every face-off, you take every shot, you hog the ball to, to the 10th degree. Here comes Jake Glatz. Strength, he's able to shoot through that stick check. First goal in forever. Glatz will stay out there for Penn State. Pops this one into his cross. High ceiling. They really love him off the dodge. 
I asked Grant Ament about Reynolds, and he said he showed flashes last year, and it's really promising to see a young man starting to put it all together. Outscored Penn State 7-zip and Hill 6. Johns Hopkins really put this game away in the third quarter. Outscored Penn State 7-zip and held the Nittany Lions without a shot. Glatz has given Penn State a little bit of a spark at the face-off X. Only three and a half minutes, though.